Hello everybody, this is Anthony, also known as Sprat Ant, and Sprat Ant Gaming. This is my channel! Oh, you found my channel, congratulations! Congratulations, you can click on things! Oh, oh my gosh! How? I didn't even realize you could click on things! This is amazing! Oh my! Oh, ow, oh, how? How were you able to accomplish this difficult task of clicking on things? I... Oh my god! How? I thought... I, 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 th I thought it was impossible. But, but you proved my point that you can't click on YouTube videos. It's actually quite impressive, to be honest. I, I thought... I, I didn't think people could even click. I, I thought people were born with just... With, with just nubbins. They just had hands that had no fingers. Which is weird in concept, but I don't know. I thought I was unique. I, I haven't. I've been living in my basement for 40 years now. You don't. You don't think I'm 40 years old, but I'm actually 18. So that's probably why you don't think I'm 40 years old. Yep. But hey, this is Anthony, and this is improv. So I don't know what the what the, what the heck I'm doing. We're just talking here, having a good time. You're questioning your existence. I'm questioning mine. And you probably think I, I'm shit, to be honest. You, you, you think I should just go? Go on an adventure? Question, question, question my life choices. Honestly, I don't know even what my life choices are. Where, who am I? Who are you? Why is there blackness? Why is there nothing out there over the rainbow? I don't know what I'm doing here. All I know is that life is questionable under many means and that we have to live this way. Hey! Hey, up, hey up to me. Yeah, what is it? What is it, dude? You fucking suck! Yeah, well, well... Well, thanks for telling me, Billy! You, you stupid... You stupid boy, Billy! You st you're stupid! Yeah, well, at least I'm not stupid! Proving my point, Billy, you are very much stupid. You, you stupid. Stupid, stupid mushroom who talks in my dreams. <laughs> See, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I'm just going with it. Go with the flow, man. You just. You just talk to yourself. And imagine everything is like a big pineapple. Yeah, I know. You think this is stupid? Well, I I think that pencils are stupid. Do you want to know why I think pencils are stupid? It's because they were inherently designed to mess you up some way. You know? When has a pencil ever been good for anything except writing? I know that's their main purpose, but there are plenty of things that can have multiple purposes. You might think this is ridiculous, but come on, think about it. If you use a pencil for something else other than a pencil, is you're using it as a stick. You're not using it for some other discrete purpose. You're using it as a stick or a pencil. Why? Why? What's the point of them? At this point in our lives, there are people who have more smart pads with notes scribbled on them than there are people writing in notebooks. In fact, I think the only reason why we have notebooks anymore is because we have people who are drawing! Drawing or doing homework? What's the point of anything? Why don't we just have a communal gravesite where people just drop dead? You should just have, like, I don't know. You should just have people dropping dead in, in communal gravesites. They should be all like, Hey, I, I'm tired with life anymore. Okay, here's that one-way shiki you asked for. Okay, thank you. Blech. See, wouldn't that be wonderful if you just had, like, a communal, like, group burial site where everyone could be, like, kumbaya as they set the new bodies aflame for the day. It be, would be wonderful. It'd be like the suicide booths for Futurama. That's a good example. Yeah, we could keep the population down, keep all the crazies out. And then realize that we're the crazy ones and that no one under their right mind would actually jump in a pit and then be burned alive at night. Yeah. We should all question our life choices and our... 
I can't take anything back now. It's gone. The mama's gone. Okay. Yeah, we're going in weird territory. Going to weird territory, don't you think, John? Oh, yeah, I think so. You know, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know why. So, do you know what the hardest thing about improv is? It's because you have to create things out of your mind. I know it's impossible to do so. But when you are creating things out of your mind, you're, you're not really considering the fact that you're creating things out of your mind. When was the last time you created something out of your mind? Think about it. It, when you think about some, about creating something, you're thinking about creating something that already exists or reinventing something. Think about it. Draw the first thing you think about on a piece of paper. Okay? Now look at that thing and does it look familiar anyway? Huh? Does it look... Oh wait! It's because you've seen it somewhere, haven't you? You don't know where exactly, you just know you have seen it somewhere, either in some type of psychedelic nightmare dream or somewhere. I don't. I don't, why? Why? Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bored. I'm really, really bored. Literally, I've done everything that a bored person could do, especially a bored, somewhat in borderline teenager, borderline adult person can do. I've done all my homework for the day, so that's fine. And I've done all my chores, so that's fine. Heck, I even have money to go someplace if I- Oh wait, everything's closed because it's 7 o'clock at night and you, unless you want food, better give up. Yep, I'm, I'm bored. If it wasn't obvious. Excited. But I'm bored. Say, so do you ever... Hey, the person who's listening to this, if you've gotten to this point, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. You listened to something that was created completely pointlessly and without much effort except that of their own sanity being lost. Which isn't really effort, it's more of a payment. Like I'm paying my mind to die. Are you happy? Well, good, because you got to this point. We're like 7 minutes, 30 seconds in, and good luck, good job. Good, good job. You deserve a reward. Maybe some, maybe some medicine, too, because that's concerning that you made it to this point. Is this even really improv? I don't even know what improv is. What does it mean to be doing imp Wait, I'm asking questions. I'm doing, I'm repeating myself, god damn it! I'm repeating myself! So, that's a thing that just happened. I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, I'm I'm just in my chair, staring at the ceiling, watching my dog as he's kind of looking at me with great concern. Yeah, it's okay, puppy. It's okay. He doesn't believe me. He thinks I've lost it. No surprise either, to be honest, because uh, I, ha I have been shouting a lot for like the last... Oh wow, we're now 8 minute 30 seconds in now. Oh, and it keeps on, keeps on going. Look at that thing. I'm watching the audacity uh, vocal thing right now. Yeah. I, I can see the, the voice lines. It's beautiful. If only you could see it. Yeah, that'd be something beautiful right there. Being able, being able to see like the bumps that, that represent my voice. You can see when things are really small. And you can see when things are really loud! Wow, that was a big spike right there. That was impressive. Real impressive. 10 out of 10 would spike again. Wait, don't take that out of context. Oh no, someone, oh no. People took that out of context. People took that out of context, didn't they? In fact, I bet someone could like recompile anything from this and turn it into whatever they wanted. They probably have enough voice things to create any type of incriminating audio things they could want. All I need to say now is terrorist and doomsday and end of times and bomb and now everyone has everything they need. God dang it, I gave everything that people needed to create their own incriminating audio. I'm doomed, you're doomed, we're all doomed!
It's the end of the world, everybody! <laughs> Come on down to end of the world town where you can get some wet sticks. Totally just made a reference there. Boom, reference drop. Bet you didn't expect that one. Ha 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 ha. I'm alone. So alone. Hey, did you hear that Bacon wrote Shakespeare? Yeah, I know. It's surprising. Anybody, if you don't know that Bacon wrote Shakespeare, you should look it up. I'm totally lying. He didn't write Shakespeare. It was Shakespeare who wrote Shakespeare, but it might be Bacon. You don't know. You don't know. Bacon can write Shakespeare. If, if you give Bacon the chance, Bacon can write Shakespeare, too. They can also uh, give you cancer. But that's a different type of bacon, to be honest. I don't know what I'm doing. So, how you doing? You doing good? That's good. I'm happy you're doing good. Because life is like a box of chocolates. Sometimes you just eat the whole box and don't really care what flavor it is. And sometimes the boxes are just far too expensive, so you just get that cheapo brand. Yeah. Box is like a box of chocolates. Wait, did I just say box was like a box of chocolates? Or did I say life is like a box of chocolates? Maybe it's boxes like a box of chocolates. Does that mean that you can get like a chocolate box with like a box of boxes? With boxes of chocolate in them? Oh my god, I gotta write this thing down, man! Gotta get some boxes with boxes of chocolate in them! Oh my god! Who hasn't thought of this? It's like boxes inside boxes inside boxes with chocolate in them! Oh my- I'm gonna, be I'm gonna become more famous! Screw you guys! Why do I need to do improv? I'm doing just fine! I'm the rich and famous! And create boxes with boxes of chocolate in them! You know, you don't even- you can't even stop this! You can't stop this power! I'm mindful. I know my world. I can accept the world. I am better than every single thing of chicken nugget ever created. Except for those weird chicken nuggets that no one eats, but that's besides them. Anyway, I'm just gonna go! Why are you still here? If you're here to this point, why? I don't understand you. Do you like listening to craziness? Literally, I'm not gonna even put any background to this. I'm just gonna put this on a black background. If you're hoping to see something secretive, like something amazing, like incriminating anything, I, I, don't, I don't. Why am I saying incriminating? I'm probably using it in the wrong context. To to heck with all of this. Let's just let's just lose our minds together. Everyone take the crazy pills. Everyone think about life. Everyone just just take just take a pencil that are useless. You take one, you take two, you, you put one to the other, and you're like, ah, 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 one, two, three, four, and we're done. Congratulations. You've won nothing. How do I know you won nothing? Because I'm the person who made this video, and, uh, yeah. If you liked this video, then please leave a like. If you hated it, then please leave a dislike. I do appreciate those dislikes quite a bit. Um, in fact, why don't you just give a majority of dislikes to my video, and then say that everything was fantastic. In fact... You know what? Don't like my video at all, because if you like this video, I'd be severely concerned with the mental health of our society in many levels, to the point where I might, I might question your your motivation. Toward, you know what? Just just do your own thing. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm not gonna tell you what to do at all. Just just like, dislike, subscribe, leave a comment complaining about how my voice was too loud or that. I was some stupidy brandy head named Bill. I don't know what what you guys say out there. I'm gonna, there's gonna be at least one person out there. He's gonna say first, uh, except he might come f not come for a few years, considering how many views I get per video. So enjoy that. Yeah, enjoy your life choices. Enjoy the fact that Donald Trump will eventually take over the world and and become the first president with uh, insanity. Actually, there's been many presidents with insanity, but that's beside the point. Do your own thing, make your own regrets, and think about life. I think that's what Miss Frizzle said from the Magic School Bus. Anyway, have a good day and bye.